Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here at Crown Enios Grenadier, all new model, all new vehicle coming from across the pond. And it's this vehicle right here. This is it. This is a Enios Grenadier field stream trim. But before we get into this maximum size, maximum off-road vehicle, let's talk about what's going on here. A lot of brands are being pretenders, coming out with these off-road trims, off-road specs, and maybe they don't cut the mustard. Well, guess what? Enios Grenadier, born in England, is now here in the United States to be that go-to for luxury, but also for that extreme off-roading. Very interesting how they've taken modern technology and blended it really nicely with that old school off-road feel. Now in this segment of the auto industry, there's a lot of competition. You got the Land Rover Defender. Of course, we could talk about the EVs like the GMC Hummer EV SUV, but this vehicle behind me has some very special touches. So what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for the best new off-road vehicle, is this Enios Grenadier the one to get? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, like I was saying, the shape, it really takes the best of that boxy design and brings it, but brings it in a very unique way. Now, the great news is there's gonna be many different grades to choose from. This one is known as the field stream trim or grade, and then there's gonna be many ways to personalize your Enio. So at the front of the business, you see that boxy, but also rounded shape to what's going on. You'll notice headlight housing, very unique, round opening. We got LED daytime running lamps, and then we have that awesome setup of LED headlights, nice bright white light. Working our way down, of course, we're gonna have our stamp steel front bumpers with the wire mesh to allow air to flow through. You could see the construction and how it separates from a lot of other modern SUVs. Even the way that they did the venting on the side of this flat black really looks aggressive, but it's also functional as well. Now, when we come across that front grill, this is gonna be that easy identifier. A grill is a great way to identify what vehicle you're looking at. And what do we have going on here? Nice, unique shape. We have these horizontal bars with a little bit of aluminum style trim, and then you're gonna get that classic round fog lamp setup. Really looking great, separating it, like I said, from a lot of the competition. It does have some style, say from uh, you know, a G-Wagon or an old school Land Cruiser, but definitely unique. More of that nice metal bumper with the wire mesh to bring air for all the heat exchangers. Down below, same story. So no plastic for the actual openings. It's nice wire mesh. Of course, you're gonna get real deal skid plates underneath the be belly of this beast. And you have the satin black tow hooks to pull those lesser vehicles. You see a G-Wagon stuck in the mud or maybe stuck in a mall parking lot? You could get this to yank that G-Wagon up and out. Now, as we rise up, look at the hood so center portion is actually the hood the rest is all metal fenders so you have the Enios badge very unique badge all new brand here in the united states they've been on sale in england for a couple years about now but nice to see them across the pond one of the things that i'm digging is unlike a land cruiser where it would be totally flat an old school land cruiser you could see the angle because it's going to give you a little bit of aerodynamic efficiency having the angle to that all metal hood and then really digging how they did these triangular lines on the sides on both sides now as we come around the bend what are we going to be working with wheel and tire setup so you're going to get these off-road spec beadlock wheels love the gunmetal gray finish you got the Enio badge in the center the machined aluminum outer trim ring on this particular one we do have these bridgestone off-road tires now you can go they're going to have different packages where you can go smooth package you could go with that off-road style package to get the ko2s this you'll be able to do and i think that's one of the things i like about enios is that they're taking a page from a lot of other luxury brands where you could customize this thing so many different ways wheels and tires is one of those let me know what you think about the style and about how it looks on our particular black one but this is a 18-inch wheel 
255 on the width, 70 series sidewall. And you can see this is a light off-road tire with some shielding on the sidewall. Obviously, like I said, you could get those KO2 tires that are a little bit beefier. Now I'm gonna have Lori show off the suspension. You can see the bright yellow springs, the shock absorbers, nicely set up. Like I said, this thing is built to get through just about anything. You got your two-speed transfer case. You're gonna have, of course, the whole drivetrain beefed up. And when we talk about the drivetrain, wait until we open up the hood, because there are some surprises. I'll show you something to kind of let the cat out of the bag. Lori's gonna zoom on in, and up top they have these flat black panels here. As you can see, it says powered by BMW. So we actually have a BMW power plant underneath the hood. And I actually think that's a really good thing because what you're gonna find with this engine is that you know what it is, but I'm not gonna tell you yet. Now on the side, I'm really, really digging how they did this side fender vent. You do have the blending of the British flag and the German flag. Think about it because of BMW, love the side marker light, that nice traditional round light. And then of course, the flat black fender openings. Really, really think that fender flare looks great, just enough without going too overboard. Now, one of the things that I've always liked about Jeep Wranglers is when you look at the exterior, you could see their utility. Look at on this Ineos Grenadier here. You could see how they have the exposed hinges. Love that style. And then you'll also notice these flat black tracks here. This is to mount all sorts of side bags. And this is that vehicle to take you through anywhere. You want to go over landing? This is going to be that ultimate machine. Even the simplistic things like the door handle. So you have your flat black door handle, but what I love about it is to open up the door, you actually push on the button and then it closes. And when you close this door, it feels like a Wells Fargo safe. Cool touches like that. Now, when it comes to customization and personalization right from the factory, you'll notice down below, we have that ladder frame, MIG welded ladder frame. You could actually have that three different ways, black, you could have a gray finish or a red finish. I like the way they give you that personalization, that customization. And then there's gonna be a plethora of colors, including different colors for the roof. So you could go with a white, you could go with a black. Nice to have that option as well. On our particular one, we have the classic black on black. You'll notice, of course, all the accessories to make this that usable, most versatile machine, but also have all the luxurious features to the interior and some great technology. I can't wait to show you. Of course, we have full four door usability and the way that these doors open, it's almost total 90 degrees. Think about how easy that's gonna be to get in and out of this vehicle with having the doors open nice and wide. Working our way towards the rear real quick, we're gonna kind of swing it around and just show you that classic body style. So you have it coming down from the rear pillar into the quarter panel, nice flow out into our rear steel bumpers. Round lights, just like the headlights, the taillights, all LED. It almost looks like a Target, and I think that it's smart because a lot of brands are gonna be targeting Ineos because of what they're doing with this vehicle. And then in true off-road SUV fashion, you have your rear exposed spare tire mounted. We do have our ladder system, which I'm actually going to simulate here and show you how you could climb very nicely and then climb on down without falling. Look at that. I did it, Lori. Lori's laughing right now. But the way that they did the venting on the back, you got your ladder system, even all of those touches. And what's great is, is that I'm going to show you this actually opens up this away. So you could open up this portion but then we could also open up the other portion, but I'm not ready for that. What we are ready to do, we talked about the exterior, we talked about, look, rear skid plates, you're gonna have a good uh, uh, departure angle and approach angle. Everything's tucked up nice and out of the way, of course, with that four by four system and these satin black tow hooks. But while we go ahead, I've mentioned it, let's go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our SUV. All right, guys, we do have that metal hood popped. You do have a prop rod. I'm okay with that because of the fashion of vehicle it is. Underneath that hood, you are gonna see a specific engine cover with the 
Grenadier name on it. And of course, when it comes to performance, what do we have? That is a BMW source, three liter, straight six turbocharged engine. This one is tuned for off-road duty. So you have 281 horsepower, 332 pound-feet of torque. It's mated to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 8.6 seconds. And the Enios can weigh anywhere, depending on how you spec it, from around 5,829 pounds to 6,050 pounds. So nice to see a familiar power plant. I think it's smart that they went this route instead of trying to come up with their own. And the fact that this is easily modifiable is going to be another big point. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior because I want to show you what big things come in this SUV. All right, guys, we are inside this Enios Grenadier Fieldmaster grade. Many different ways you could trim it out. Fieldmaster is one of the top trims, one of the top grades, if you want to put it that way. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, this is one bad mamma jamma of a luxury off-road SUV. I love the boxy look. I love that it's got BMW power. How much is it? So starting MSRP is going to be in that $70,000 mark. This particular one is going to be over $80,000. It all comes down to the personal preference of options. But I kind of like that because it makes each one so unique to the owner. But let's see what you get when you go Enios to the door panels. I love the two-tone style, that sort of like off gray finish with the contrast stitching. I'm not a big fan and I am gonna have to zonk the amount of gloss black on the door panel. I would have liked to have seen maybe some aluminum style trim, but you do have the nice white contrast stitching and a door pocket that's a really good size for a Chipotle burrito with extra guac and extra sour cream. Going from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material. You of course have that oh crap handle for your passenger while you're off-roading. And I like the way that they did the AC vents. Nice round style, little bit of aluminum style finish. Come on in, you're gonna be greeted to a ginormous 12.3 inch infotainment system. Now, one thing to remember is that this does not have an actual dash, a digital gauge display. So everything is in the infotainment. Your speed, what, your RPM, what gear you're in, fuel, but then you also have other screens as well. Like you could bring up your off-road pages, get altitude, you could get all sorts of different readouts. Plus, of course, you have your maps and everything in between. But let me know how you feel about everything being contained within the infotainment system. Working our way down, we have a compass. Pretty cool to have your longitude and latitude. I'm sure you remember that back to social studies class. A Little bit of gloss black, but here's my favorite part. Check out how industrial the knobs and switches are. Rear, 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 real AC knobs for your blower fan, temperature. You do have a heated seats, but no ventilated seats. And to me, that's a zonk. I would like to have ventilated seats, but I just love all these finishes. It's like a jet fighter cockpit. Really, really cool how they separate themselves that way. You do have a nice tray down here for at least two off-road Twinkies. And when you're going off-roading, remember you have that manual control to go into high, four high, and four low. This is gonna control that ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. You do have a direct drive control knob if you don't want to touch the screen because that is full touch screen capability. All through up the top, you have a mechanical e-brake and I love all the quality stitching, the quality materials. Two cup holders, the exposed screws. And then I love the way they have this stitching and material on this area. You open it up, we got the isotoner gloves. So if you're wondering where the isotoner gloves are, they're right here. And if you need to freshen up, we got some extra gum, but you got plenty of space in here, USB C's and then the seats. These are Recaro. How do I know it? First of all, the quality. Second of all, the name stamped in the two tone with the off gray finish, like the bolstering, all manual controls for the passenger, all manual controls for the driver. And the cool thing is you could option in carpet. This one does not have carpet. You could option in carpet. We do have the optional glass roofs that you could open manually. And then check out the panel here with the Grenadier name, all of your 
auxiliary switch gear for a winch, for exterior lighting. Love the way they have that style, just like a fighter jet. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this new SUV. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Love the large door openings. You have all your manual seat controls. Let me know how you feel about that, all your manual seat controls. And you can see that this doesn't have the optional carpet. I actually like this better because it's gonna be easy to keep clean, very durable. I'm six feet tall and you got plenty of room in here. Getting to all the switch gears. I just wish there was a CB radio. Then I'd really be, you'd be like, hey, Breaker Breaker, this is Huggy Bear. But anyways, you got all your other switch gear. Everything's easy to get to. We're doing this first look, so we are gonna be driving it, but it's all about seeing because seeing is believing. And what do we got? This beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel, two, tone, two different types of leather, perforated smooth. You got that top dead center mark, which is great. And then you'll notice the Enios badge, flat black on all the switch gear. It is manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and there is no dash. All you have is a uh, rectangle that has all of the emergency lights. Put your seatbelt on, those types of things. The good news about that is you have a clear view out over the hood. The bad news is all your information is over to the center, like I showed you earlier, but this is all touchscreen, which is a nice setup. But why don't we go ahead, it's not just about the people up front, let's get into the back seat area because this is a two row SUV and see what you get in this Enios. All right guys, back seat time. And the great news is the way that this thing is shaped, you have plenty of headroom back here. I like the lighter headliner because not only does it match these seats, but it just gives you even a more open area experience. Backs of the seats do have the plastic. Normally I would zonk that, but I'm okay with it because just like on the floor, we don't have any carpet. It's gonna be easy to keep this clean. Back of the command center, you do have two AC vents and we do have a USB-C and a USB-A. I wish that they had some type of controls though back here, especially for the price. But you do have Recaro's both up front and back. How do I know? Not only do they have the two-tone color, but they're just like up front, there's the Recaro name. The other thing I'm missing back here is a center armrest. It would be nice to be able to chill and go off-roading and have a place to put my arm. But while we go ahead, let's see how much stuff we could, we could stuff into this Ineos. All right, guys, time to get in the cargo area. Like I showed you earlier, you're gonna open up the smaller door first. And then what's cool is now you could open it up just like that. That's gonna give you a ginormous amount of space. I took a few things that I know people would wanna store in their back, like a couple pieces of luggage. Maybe you have a suit in a uh, dry cleaning uh, you know, sleeve that you have to put somewhere. Lots of room in here. Of course, you have a 12 volt nicely placed on the passenger side. And the fact that this is two rows gives you tons of cargo space and you can fold the seats down 60, 40 split. And I like the way it's got that all weather protection built into the back of the seat, just like the floor, all weather protection. There's no carpet. You could option it with carpet, but I like the style without the carpet easy to clean, will last forever. Now I know that you wanna go for a drive, but of course, because this is the first look, we're gonna to have to wait on that. But definitely come back, we're gonna be doing a full ride in one of these, but we gotta wrap it up here from Crown. All right, guys, it's been a great day here at Crown Enios. Definitely wanna thank the whole Crown family for getting us access to their very first demo. Let me know what you think. Does this vehicle check off all the boxes to be that primo numero uno of the luxury severe off-roading SUVs? Let me know in that comment section how you feel about it. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for Lori Rady working that camera like a champ. Follow her on Instagram, Lori Rady. It's real simple. Check out all her photos. Give her a like or two. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.